for this tutorial, this is the fabric that I'll be working with. So for the skirt part, I'll be going with a length of 15 inches. I added um, 1.5 inches to this length. I'll have half an inch here to join it to the band. And I have one inch for the hem here, okay? My fabric is folded into two. Unfold, it is measuring 27 inches. Now, I'm going to be gathering the waist part to the waist circumference of this child that I'm making it for. And her waist circumference is 23 inches. So this skirt part has been settled. What I'll do, first of all, is to seal up the open end of the fabric. Seal it off by sewing it together by half an inch seam allowance. I'll make sure to overlock the raw edges of the fabric as well. I can as well go on to hem the bottom of the skirt and then I'll go ahead and run my gathered stitch at the top at the waist part here, okay? So I've gone ahead to do everything that I mentioned that I was going to do for the skirt. I have gone to gather the waist to the waist circumference of the wearer plus 1.5 inches. The waist circumference is 23, but what I have gathered around here is 24.5. That's because we'll be adding a bit of elastic so um, the little girl can wear this. I've gone ahead to join the fabric. I overlocked the raw edges and I've also gone ahead to hem the bottom of the skirt as you can see. So I'm going to keep the skirt part aside and then we're going to work on the upper part of the pinafore dress while making for this little girl. Right here I have um, two rectangular fabrics cut out for the waistband. This is measuring 24.5 inches plus an additional one inch, that is 25.5 inches, okay? Half an inch for seam allowance at the two sides and the 24.5 inches is so that it will match what we have on the skirts, okay? So here is the waistband and the width is two inches. We have half an inch for sewing allowance here and another half an inch for sewing allowance at the bottom. The next fabric that I have here is for the straps. This is going to run from the waist at the front of the skirt to the back, almost to the length of the pinafore dress that we are making. So the length is measuring about 33 inches, thereabouts. So I have about 33 point something inches here. So this is fine. And then the width is about 3.75 inches, close to four inches. Okay, we are going to be folding this and I'm going to show you how we are going to be attaching this to the pinafore part of the dress that we are making. What I'm going to do also is to keep this one aside and then we are going to come to the pinafore part. For the pinafore part, I have this um, rectangular fabric. I did not add este to this one like I did for the straps and the waistband. So this is the rectangular fabric. And we're going to fold it into two. So the width of this pinafore part is measuring six inches. This is inclusive of half an inch seam allowance on this side and half an inch seam allowance on this other side. The shoulder measurement of this child is 11 inches. I went ahead to remove six inches from that. Okay, three inches on this side, three inches on this side. So 11 minus six is five inches. And then I added one inch for seam allowance yeah, that's why we have six inches right here what i did for this pinafore part was to subtract three inches from the shoulder to waist the shoulder to waist is 12 inches so if we remove three inches from that it is going to be nine inches so that's what we are going to do right now it is going to be nine inches so can you see three inches here nine inches we are going to add half an inch for seam allowance for joining to the waistband And then we're going to cut this out. Now, please check that the measurement you have here is the same as the measurement that you have here. So if it's a similar, it means you are on the right track. Okay, so I have six inches here. I have six inches right here. What I'm going to do right now is to mark half an inch on both sides. And we're going to sort of like connect from here to the edge here, connect from here to the edge here. So we're going to be creating something like a slant. That's the shape that we are going for. We're not going for a perfect rectangle. 
So once I connect it, I will just go ahead and cut it out like this. So can you see the shape is looking slanted? I'm going to take this to my sewing machine now and just sew very close to the edge, very close to the edge so that I can hold the fabric pieces together so it doesn't shift while, you know, I'm attaching other parts of the outfit to this um, dress. So I will sew the edge here, sew the edge here down. I might as well go ahead and do the same thing for this um, side. I have this tiny piece of fabric here. It is measuring two inches about two inches in width and about five inches in length. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it half an inch in here, fold half an inch right here, and then fold it again, take it to my sewing machine and sew the edge. Okay, I'm going to sew the edge. I'll repeat the same thing for this one. This is what is going to form the belt loop of the um, dress that we are making for this um, child so i'll just go ahead and you know everything i've stated i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and do it for this two um, pieces of fabric so the edge here so the edge here and then turn these two pieces of fabric into belt loops and then i'll come show you guys what we have and then what we're going to do next like i said earlier i went ahead to sew the sides of the pinafore parts and here is the belt loop for the pinafore dress the next thing i'm going to do is to get the straps and what we're going to be doing is sort of like sandwiching this in between this i will actually advise that you you fold it you press it down so what i'm going to do right now is to place this so can you see what i'm doing i'm going to pick one side and then I will be sewing by a half an inch from here to here. I also ensure that the edge of this um, fabric piece is matching the edge of the strap. So I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine, sew by a half an inch, grab the second piece, I'll repeat the same thing as well. Place it like this. Can you see what I'm doing? I place it like this and then I sew by a half an inch so after sewing this is what it looked like i sewed only one side by half an inch so i've gone ahead to pin this part so that you're going to have a better view of what i intend doing so what i did here was to fold this other side that i haven't sewn by half an inch allowance and i pegged it down can you see all the way to the top that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Push this raw edge inside, close it up. Remember we have a crease here, so that will guide us in the folding and then fold here in by a half an inch seam allowance. Okay, so that is where I'm going to be sewing from the bottom there, you know, all the way to the top. While I'm getting to this top right here, I'm going to fold this in Fold it in like so, so that I can seal everywhere up. Do you understand? So whatever I do for this part, I'm going to repeat the same thing for this other side as well. Um, after sewing, this is what it looks like. This is what I have. The next thing we're going to do is to attach this to the waistband. Here is the waistband. We're going to look for the midpoint. Of this waistband we want it to be centralized I go ahead and fold this into two notch the center I come right here I measure this to be seven inches so the midpoint of seven inches will be what three and a half so I'm going to come right here and mark 3.5 and make sure that this notched part of the waistband matches the notched part matches the marked part of this pinafore so once i place it on top like this i'll go ahead and get the other one the other waistband okay place it right side to right side touching making sure that it is the midpoint 
of the waistband that is matching you know the midpoint of the pinafore and then i'll go ahead and attach everything together on this side so by a half an inch seam allowance so i've gone ahead to sew to attach this part of the waistband to the pinafore just this part first the next thing i'm going to do before going ahead to complete this is to attach the waistband like this okay so i want to turn it into a circle so i carry each part of the waistband place them right sides touching i should have done this before going ahead to do this too so i'll go ahead and attach this part so by half an inch similar ones go ahead and repeat the same thing so by a half an inch seam allowance so i'm going to go ahead and place them on top of each other with right sides touching like this pin um, the seams together so that they match i'm going to get my belt loops and i'm going to attach them opposite where i have the straps for the pinafore on the back side of the band i'll place it like this I don't know can you see what i'm doing so you want to make sure that however you place it this strap should be able to to pass through it okay do you understand so i just go ahead and place it like so i peg it down i'll repeat the same thing for this other side as well then I'll go ahead and sew the rest of the waistband, everything all around by a half an inch seam allowance. So after attaching the waistband to the pinafore part of the, of the dress that we are making for this um, little girl, I went ahead to do a top stitch from this end at the top here to this other end so that this part can balance, you know, really well. I have about um 12.25 inches here so if we multiply this by two it is going to give us 24.5 inches and the waist circumference of this child is 23 so in order for this to be fitted around the waist of the child we are going to be adding an elastic so what i did was to cut a four inch elastic this elastic has half an inch similar ones and half an inch similar ones on this side okay the next thing I'm going to do now is to come right here at the back of the waistband that we have here, the one on the inside, that is where we are going to be attaching this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and measure the distance from the edge of this belt loop that we have here to the edge of this other belt loop. And I have about 4.5 inches. Okay, so that is where I'm going to be attaching this waistband to okay so i place it in there i make sure that the half an inch that i'm going to sew on this um elastic okay aligns with the edge of the waistband so i'll just go ahead and pin that down then i'll stretch my elastic to this side okay and i'll repeat the same thing making sure that the edge here matches the half an inch that i'm going to sew on this side okay and then i'll go ahead and pin down as well then i'll take this to my sewing machine and sew. so after attaching the elastic to the waistband this is what it looks like what we're going to do next is to attach the skirt parts to the waistband okay so i'm going to make sure that the seam at the on the skirt the seam that we have here matches the seam on the waistband and I'm placing it on the uh, part of the waistband where I did not attach the elastic. Okay, so I'm going to place it like this and I'm going to peg it down. So that is what we're going to be doing all around this part of the waistband. Attach it to the skirt. Once I'm done placing it on top of each other like this, I'll take it to my sewing machine and attach that part this part that i've pegged down sew it up by a half an inch similar ones then come back and show you guys what we're going to do next so after attaching the waistband to the skirt parts one part of the waistband to the skirt 
we are down to the last stage of the making of this dress, which is enclosing the raw edges that we have here with the other parts of the waistband. So what I did right here was to just peg down the parts where I have the elastic so that it stays put, it doesn't affect my sewing. And the next thing I'm going to do is to fold in this part of the waistband by a half an inch to enclose the raw edges. And then I'll take this to my sewing machine and then stitch it all the way across, all the way all around, making sure that it is neatly done on both sides so that is the last step of this tutorial and i'm going to show you guys what our dress will look like at the end of the day so guys after attaching our waistband this is what our pinafore dress looks like okay so i did a crisscross at the back you can decide to wear it like this on the child okay tie it at the back or you can decide to wear it straight put the strap straight at the back like this and then tie it at the waist whichever you decide okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did kindly give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel turn on the bell so you get updates when i post new videos we are going to be seeing videos from me every week and i'll be seeing you guys in my next tutorial bye